G'day, my name is Luke and this is my wife Jen and here are our two growing boys Liam and Elliot. We've been fishing, boating and exploring the pristine waters of the Fraser Coast for about 10 years now. So subscribe and come join the adventure. G'day folks, Luke here. It has been a while since we have posted a YouTube video. Apologies for that. In fact, this is the first time the boat has seen salt water in four months. So it's trying to remember what to do and I'm finding little gremlins in it due to it being off the water for so long. A um, Couple of little things, I was redoing the wiring harness over Christmas um, just to fix a few little gremlins prior to these gremlins. Um, I've noticed on the way over today, uh, the sounder, the Hummingbird Solix, has dropped out a couple of times. Um, like power's gone and then come back on straight away. So I think there's a loose connection somewhere. It's probably because of my big fat fingers playing around with the electronics. And we've noticed a sound in the digital power steering for the G2. Um, it sounds to me like a sensor's tripping and the little motor that spins up the DPS is just spinning up for no reason when we're just idling or just sitting around doing nothing. So um, probably gonna have to get that looked at as well. But apart from that, everything's going really good. Um, I'll show you what everybody's up to. Eating again. <laughs> Eating again. <laughs> and we're cooking boat bacon, of course. What did you do today, Liam? Caught a tuna. Caught a nice big mac tuna. He got his um, PB mac tuna today, uh, which is really good. How many fish have you caught, Elliot? Nine. Elliot's been catching a mixed bag of about nine different species. Um, we, we haven't gone far. We've gone, uh, this is Kungal Creek just behind us. And we went up a few miles past Kungal Creek sort of between Kungu and Archcliff, found some old coffee rock patches and the boys have been jigging light jigs over that and just catching a whole heap of different little tiny fish and things. So um, they've been having a lot of fun. So last day of the school holidays out on the water, really, really enjoying things. So I'll show you a bit of footage of what we've been up to today. But uh, thanks for watching. And we promise it won't be so long between videos. Righto folks, I thought I'd give you a quick rundown on the most direct route to find where we're currently sitting at Kungul Creek. The reason I'm doing this is I get a lot of questions from people, almost every week I get questions from people on how to reach certain boating destinations. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight some key areas to look at, a broad sense of navigation to reach there, and then what you need to do is go and check your own charts and your own GPS units and all that sort of stuff. Disclaimer, this is in no way intended as a 100% foolproof navigation aid, okay? It is just a broad guide. Do not rely on it for your own navigation. You need to do that with your own charts, okay? I don't want to get sued by anybody. So I'll put a couple of key things up on the screen for you. We got EU1, which is a yellow marker. EU2, a red marker. Big Woody Northern, which is a uh, white black marker. You've got S8, the red marker over near Pelican Bank. And I'll also put up in orange shading some areas to look out for. These are shallow reef areas and shallow sandbanks, okay? Um, and you really need to pay attention to those. Now, again, check your charts, all right? They'll highlight these areas for you so you know whether you can actually get through them, all right? This trip is about 18 kilometers, about 9.33 nautical miles. And what you want to do is as you come out of the harbour, you'll see Round Island disappearing on the right. You want to head towards EU1. Use your chart to find it. EU2, pass to the left-hand side of EU2 and to the left-hand side of Big Woody Northern Cardinal, okay? And that'll keep you away from that shallow reef area around Big Woody Island. From there, straight across the deep water channels, head towards S8 and pass it on the right-hand side. Okay, starboard side, and then make your way very carefully through the sandbanks over towards Moon Point. Once you get to Moon Point, it's pretty easy. You just head up along the beach, heading north, northeast, until you get to the mouth of Kungal Creek. Really, really simple. Okay, and as I mentioned before, check your own chart, check your own GPS unit, all that sort of stuff, and you should be fine. 
Okay, now just keep the pressure on for a bit until he runs out of puff. <laughs> keep the pressure on. How loose is your drag? Your drag okay? Yep, that's fine. Don't touch anything. I don't know. All the way down and pump and wind, all right? Keep the pressure on. Yeah, I'll do the net. Yeah, that's okay. Wind fast. Keep the pressure on him. Long tails sometimes do that because they know that they'll try and loosen the pressure. Elliot net. Don't go under the boat. Hang on, move those rods. Take the net. He'll be alright. Settle. Settle. It's a big Settle. It's It's already on. If it comes this way, I'll grab it, go over the top and bring it down to my left. Turning the boat around, mate. That's about as high as you want to lift it. Little pumps like that, mate, all the way. I'm going to reverse, so a bit of water might come in. Keep pumping and winding. Going under, boy. Going under. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Oh, no. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, 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 the wind's got it, alright? You worry about what you're doing, I'll worry about what I'm doing. Oh. Give me your curry, alright? Don't let it near the prop. Pump and wine. Wow. And you feel like you can, pump and wine. Don't pull too hard and don't lift the rod too high. Okay, he's coming up. Yeah, I can see him. Can't see yet. Can't see yet. Keep him away from the prop. Elliot out of the way. It's not a tuna. That is not a tuna. Net. What is that? Is that a tuna? You're the one saying it's not a tuna. I don't think it is. Here come, bring it up. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Okay, a little pump and wind if you can. He's just there. Yeah, I can see That camera can go under the water, it's got the handle. Just make sure you put that on your wrist. It's like a Mac. Mac yeah, tuna. A Mac tuna. No. Yeah. You reckon? Yep. No, that's a long tail. No, it's a Mac tuna. Mac tuna. Towards the net. Well done, mate. PB. That's a PB. That's a PB. Can you, uh, Elliot, can you get the pliers, please? Alright, lift it in. I don't know if I want to, mate, because he's going to put blood everywhere. That's a PB. Oh, Elliot's fish. Still there? Oh, there's a big shark on your fish. Oh, Elliot, what a he just got sharked. Quick, get him in, get him in, get him in. There's a shark, follow your fish. Stop, stop. A shark just went for your little grinner. That was a big, that was a big shark. Did you see the shark? I saw the giant grape. Yeah, yeah, that was a big shark, mate. That was a giant. Oh, a little cod. A little codly. Little cod. Miniature cod. Look at, that. Look at the size of him. Yeah. That's like, oh, actually, look how beautiful he is. Yeah, it's a little cod. I don't think Look how beautiful he is. He's got little spikes all over him, he does. Yeah, he's very cool. What do you reckon? Uh, I'll get the, that's the last time I give you the rod. Oh, hey, it's a little, 
It's a little snapper. Oh. Just chilling. Just chilling. Just chilling. Doesn't they don't have to be monsters, folks. Oh, I can see little taps on that. Don't have to be monsters, just as long as they're busy catching something. Needs a crisp up. Need to crisp up? Yeah, still needs a few more minutes. A few more minutes of crispy boat bacon. Mind you, Elliot's just, he's gone early on the Turkish bread. You must be hungry. <laughs> 